Two journalists were killed in Ukraine this week. Their vehicle came under fire in Kyiv. That's right. This shows how dangerous this war has become for people living there, including journalists who are covering it. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara spoke to an American freelance journalist who used to call Champaign-Urbana home. So, Scarlett, how's he doing? He told me the first three days were the hardest. He never planned to be a war correspondent. But now he's committed to telling people's stories. This is my first war as a reporter. And it's hell. It's inhumane. When Terrell Germain Starr flew to Ukraine, it was to start a tourism business. Now, every day, he's reporting on the ground and sometimes helping refugees escape Russia's invasion. Obviously, the war has reconfigured my, my activities here, obviously. Fortunately, no one I know has died. I've seen people get killed. Uh, I've seen the airstrikes. I missed one by 200. Meters. He's a freelance journalist and graduate of the U of I. He says now documenting what's happening in Ukraine has become part of his mission. It's just awful to look at people's anguish and their, you know, people's lives being destroyed and you're just there covering it. Starr says when the conflict first broke out, he was paranoid. He had trouble eating, but he pushed forward and tried bringing as much dignity as possible to a dark reality we can't understand from across the world. I don't think anyone should be able to comprehend what it's like to be in a war zone because it's not humane. Part of my day is waking up in the morning and hoping that none of my friends died. The rest of his day is full of writing, interviewing on the street, and helping people leave the country whenever he can. He posts his experiences on social media and has grown a considerable following. Being independent has really been an immense, I think an immense benefit and how I've been able to tell this war in Ukraine and the more independent journalists you have out there telling this story, the better people will have a more in-depth understanding of what was happening. Starr is also the host and founder of the Black Diplomats podcast. To keep up with his reporting or learn how to help out Ukraine from here, we'll have all that information over on our website. Mac? All right, Scarlett, thanks so much.